Hello, I'm Adrian Chavez from the Sierra County Sentinel, and today we'll be taking a look at the Truth or Consequences Downtown Art Hop that took place last Saturday, November 13th, 2021. My night started on the corner of First and Date to check out the gallery Artist Abbey. Inside the guests were invited to check out the gallery's art and enjoy live music. While I was there, I had the chance to talk to artist Susan Todd, and she was able to tell me what she thought about the art hop. I think art was a great idea. I think it's, I think it's a, a really, I don't like the name hop particularly, <laughs> but I think it's a great opportunity because it gets people out. Um, and, and, and then people who are artists like myself, an opportunity to show their work. You know, so I'm very supportive of that. <laughs> Susan's work will be on display at Artist Abbey until December. Once I left the Artist Abbey, I made my way up to Main Street, where I was drawn in front of the post office by the sounds of a relaxing tomb. I then decided to check out Rebel Roadrunner and see their wide variety of gifts and clothing apparel. Continuing my journey, I found myself in the 405 Gallery, where the Democratic Party of Sierra County was having a silent auction event with complimentary food and beverages. Right next door was the Grapes Gallery where the guests were greeted by the gallery's Grace Bryan and treated to snacks and live music while they looked around. Across the street at Dust, owner Mo Koenig greeted Virginia residents David Hanna and Lori McDade. I was able to speak with the couple, and they told me what they thought about the art hop. It's interesting. It's fun. There are a lot of neat shops. There's definitely, uh, New Mexico in general, there's a lot of interest in the arts. Uh, that makes it's it fun to come here. It's incredible. Yeah. But we're sad, just like we were in Silver City, we went there too. COVID has just, it's just been awful. How many storefronts are closed now, mm -hmm. restaurants are closed, little shops are closed, and it breaks your heart because these are good people who had a little industry going and now, you know, so that right. part's sad. But I think TRC is cool. Right. It's real scruffy, but in a really neat way. Yeah. And and like we went to that the, um, the brewery and all kinds of people, everybody's different, yeah. you know, old people, young people. Mm -hmm. Ranch kind of people, hippie kind of people, just all kinds of fun right. people. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, I started making my way down Folk Street, where performers Lindsay and Nick Williams performed a 50s themed musical set for those enjoying the art hop. Across the street at the Center Fine Art Gallery, curator Art Berger told me what was new. We have uh, a brand new artist, Joan Epstein, uh, Epstein, who actually we're looking at some of her work behind me here. And we've also completely done a new exhibit in the back that Joan's part of for women artists, all with various kinds of flower paintings. And I call the exhibit Femme Petal uh, because it's a lot of ro uh, ro flower petals. And then finally, we have a, a greatly expanded uh, River Maiden exhibit from um, Marilyn Saws, which is in the white room behind you. So we're very proud to show a, a completely new look and we try every few weeks to bring somebody new in. So we have um, about half our local and all our New Mexico clients. So come on down. As I made my way to Broadway, there were local musicians resting their fingers from a long night of playing. My first stop on Broadway was the new business, Turtleback Coworking. I was able to talk to the business director, Nisik Udo, who told me about the business's goals. The whole point here is to have a space where people can escape from your typical office space or typical like Airbnb, especially in town, or if you're just dropping by. Uh, we have options for people that just want to work for either one day or like a whole month or just 10 days or three days. So we want to make it very flexible that people can come together and enjoy working to together. And that's the thing that I believe we're, we're missing nowadays, where most people are working remotely, but that does not mean you have to work by yourself. So that's the whole point of Turtle Bay. I then decided to move on down the street where I checked out the Annex Tier C before I made a quick pit stop at the Tier C Brewery where patrons were enjoying live music and cold beer. Across the street was Linda Starr's Angel Remnants, where she was featuring art from artist Christine Henson. Ms. Starr was able to tell me how this art hop was treating her. This art hop? Yeah. It's great. There's been a, quite a few people in. I'm expecting another big rush before the night's over. We usually get a later rush after everyone leaves all the other gar galleries on Main Street and Rio Bravo. So yeah, we've had quite a few people through. Nice. Also open were Vicks Broadway, New Mexico, for Get About a Gift Store, 
and a touch of yesterday. Staying busy delivering food to the brewery were the staff of the Grapevine Bistro, which is owned by Mario Portillo. Next door was the Zia Gallery, which is owned by John and DeRay Johannick. Mr. Johannick told me what he thought about business in Tier C's downtown. Well, you know, COVID hit a little bit and there was a bump in the road, but I think things are on the way back up. I've seen new businesses opening up, fewer places available to buy or rent. And uh, I think the economy is turning around. And I mean, based on our sales from October, we had a very good October here in the gallery and November's off to a good start as well. So I think, I think we're on the uptick here. Well, thank you, Mr. Johanny. You bet. As I made my way along the town, I passed Sierra County's growing independence and the Morningstar Outfitter. I crossed the street over to Destiny's Keto Kitchen, where art hoppers could enjoy a healthy bite to eat. <laughs> over at Ingo's Art Cafe, a DJ was setting up for more nightly festivities. Moving on down Broadway, I stopped at Martha's Gift Shop, where customers can find a gift for whatever occasion is coming up. Over at the Giddy Up Cafe, art hoppers were getting their fix of homemade pasta. While over at the Desert Archaic Gallery, those who went in had the chance to see works of art from the gallery owners, Reed Risch, Kyle Cunningham, and Jeannie Ortiz. Art hoppers also had the chance to check out Galactic Digs, which has art from locals here in Sierra County as well as vintage appliances. My last stop of the evening was the Rio Bravo Fine Art Gallery, where they had new works of art up for display, as well as the fiber art from Elephant Butte resident Sandy Hopper. That wraps up my coverage from November's Downtown Art Hop. I'm sorry if we left out your business or event, but the night had so much to offer. If you want to experience Tiercy's Downtown Art Hop for yourself, come check it out on the second Saturday of every month. Before you go, if you want to see more video content, be sure to like us on Facebook or subscribe to the KCHS Radio YouTube channel. I'm Adrian Chavez from the Sierra County Sentinel, signing off.